Hi, welcome to Analytics for All. This is going to be lesson two in our Python for Data Science course. This course will take you everywhere from starting from scratch, having never used Python before, all the way up to building your first machine learning model. In this lesson, we're going to cover arithmetic, relational operators, and variables. Uh, these early lessons are really geared toward people who don't have very much experience or any experience at all in programming. So if you have some, you might want to skip ahead a little bit, but everybody else, we're going to head step through slowly so you get everything you need to learn to do this. Okay? So let's start with arithmetic operators. This is something like you learned as well. So you have addition and subtraction, which this should look familiar. If you're not used to programming or computers, this is multiplication in programming. It's the, the star, it's about the eight key normally on your keyboard. Uh, yeah, we don't use X's for multiplication in programming. Division, we have these forward slash and two forward slashes. This is the difference between division and integer division. The first single forward slash is gonna return the actual value with a decimal point behind it, where the integer will only return everything to the left of the decimal point. Modulus returns the actual remainder of the problem. And two stars, that gives us an exponent. So if you want to drive two to the third power, you'd use that. Let's go ahead, jump to our Jupyter notebook, and let's try some of this. All right, here's my Jupyter notebook. We've got our arithmetic operators here. This is pretty simple stuff here. I'm not going to belittle too much here. Two plus two is four. Minus 2 minus 1 is 1. 5 times 2 is 10. Here's what I'm talking about with the division of this. The single one returns 3.5. That's the actual full value. The double will return only the values to the left of the integer, so 3. Notice it does not round up. It just takes everything to the left. Finally, we have modulus. Modulus here returns 1. So what does that mean? If you're doing this in long division, you would say 2 times 3 equals 6, and 7 minus 6 returns 1, which is the remainder. So if you think back to learning long division as a kid, that's where the modulus comes in. Uh, the modulus is actually kind of useful in finding if you've got a odd or an even number series. So look at this. So 7 modulus 2 gives us an odd number. But if I could put an even number in here, like let's say 16, it comes back 0. So that's a value for modulus. So odd numbers will return a 1. Even numbers will return a 0. And finally, let's look at exponent. Just 3 raised to the second power gives us 9. Next, we have relational operators. These are comparative operators. I don't want to call them. So things like greater than, less than. Equal to. Notice the two equals are being used here. Single equal sets a value of a variable. Two equals is a comparison in Python. Not equal to, it's bang with the equal sign, or exclamation point with not equal, with the equal sign. And we have greater than and equal to, and less than or equal to. Let's go ahead and look at our notebook, try some of these out. All right, so 3 is greater than 2, returns true. So what this is returning is called a Boolean. If you look here, it's B-O-O-L-E. It means 2. So it can be 0, 1, true, false. True, false is what we're using here. So think true, false, Boolean operation. here. So 3 is less than 2. That returns false. 2 is equal to 1, false. 2 is not equal to 1, true. 2 is greater than 2, false. And 2 is greater than or equal to 2, true. Okay, pretty straightforward. Finally, let's look at our variables. Variables are used to store values. They must start with a letter or an underscore. And don't use keywords like print for a while. Let's try, like, let's make some variables here. Okay, we got some variables here. All right. I'm going to start by just giving you that. We'll go back to that. So let's start with, take the capital letter A. We're going to assign it a value of 10. And then see what it says when we run it. So we run that, and it returns 10. So that's what A is valued at. Notice we are case sensitive here. If I run this A here, I get an error. A is not defined. Okay. Now, let's go back up here. I want to show you something else here. Let's. If I put A as ten, I'm going to put. I'm going to apply another value. I'm going to get B as five. Then I'm going to put down here B, and we'll try running this. And notice I only got 5 out. Even though I said I wanted to see what A and B are, it only gave me 5. So a way around that 
is down here. So we have a equals 5 and b equals 6. So I have print a and print b. So now when I do this, look, I get 5 and 6. And we can do our arithmetic operators and our comparative operators here, relational operators. Print a plus b, and print a is greater than b, and we get 11 and false. And obviously you can also add a string value here. So notice n equals ben. Notice when I do the string, I have to put it in parentheses, otherwise it might think it's a variable, and you won't know what it is. In print n, there it is. One more thing to show you here. Notice when I got the error here at the a, now if I run it, look what I get. I get 5 because I afterwards assigned it to a. Now let's say, you know, hey, I want to fix that. I want to go back and show somebody how to do this again. I want to show them the error, and I want to clear that variable. All you can do is go up to the kernel, and you're going to restart the kernel. You just say restart. And there it is thing. And now when I hit A, it takes a second. Bam, I got the error again. And the other thing, you look, all my answers are already filled in. Let's say I want to have this sheet nice and clean. You're in a demo. You can go up to cell, go to all output, and hit clear. And now you're back to this fresh sheet just like you started. Okay. Now, as with all my lessons, I have a full write-up for this on my website, analyticsforall.org. I'll put a link down in the description. Uh, you can go through and read everything we just did on this lesson, and uh, you can check out a lot of other stuff I've got going on there. Uh, again, thanks for joining me. Uh, hit the like and subscribe button. Leave me a, a comment. Let me know what you'd like me to work on next. Again, thank you. This has Ben Larson from Analytics for All.